I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. Why is this succotash the best? Blame it on the sausage. We're not messing around. I feel like whenever I go to the farm stand in the late summer, I see the huge piles of corn and I get overly excited and I end up walking out of there with like 20 ears of corn and then I'm like, what am I gonna do with all of this corn? So when I have excessive ears of corn in the fridge, I love to make succotash because corn is the main ingredient and it's basically just a big corn saute with a bunch of other ingredients in it. I like sausage and some potatoes just so it's like a full meal. It's so good. And so the first thing we need to do to start our succotash is, as I mentioned, I love potatoes in this, little roasted potatoes. So I'm gonna take these tiny little baby potatoes and I'm actually gonna quarter them. It seems like absolutely ridiculous because they're so tiny, but they get nice and crispy and awesome when you add them into the succotash. I need a potato assistant. And then we're gonna add just a tiny little dash of olive oil, just like mm, a tablespoon. And a good sprinkle of salt. And then give it a good toss and spread it out into a single layer. Then you wanna stick the potatoes in the oven, 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And we're gonna do all the other prepping while these are in the oven. While your potatoes are roasting, you wanna work on prepping all your other veggies. So I just diced up a bell pepper. I love red bell peppers especially. And then I have a sweet onion that I chopped up too. And I love the sweet onion because it really complements the sweetness of your corn and adds a nice little crunch. Next up, obviously, you want corn. We're doing succotash. I like fresh corn in the Sebast. You can use frozen if you want, but you just wanna take the kernels right off the cobs if you're using fresh. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Corn is cut. And last thing you need to prep is your lima beans. If you wanna use lima beans, they're very common in succotash. You wanna pre-cook them. Usually if you get them frozen, you can just cook them in the microwave and then you can set them aside. Everything else will be done at the stove. Let's roll. It is time for the sausage. So you can use pork sausage, you can use chicken sausage, whatever you like. I'm using Italian chicken sausage and I like it spicy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a knife down lengthwise the sausage and I'm gonna pop the meat out like that. And I'm gonna keep repeating with all the sausages so that the meat is out of the casing. And the next step is easy. You're just gonna kinda keep turning your meat once in a while, just breaking up your sausage and letting it cook thoroughly. Sausage is cooked and crumbled, and now it's time to add all of our veggies. I like to add just a little splash of olive oil in here, along with those meat juices. Just add a little more liquid, liquid, can't speak. Then I'm gonna add in my onion right into our skillet and we're gonna cook down the onion for about two to three minutes on medium high heat, just until they get a little soft. If that doesn't make you drool, I don't know what does. Corn time, all your corn and your peppers. We're gonna saute those for about five or six minutes until the corn is cooked through and tender. So I ended up cooking this for two or three more minutes than I told you, just because the corn wasn't quite tender yet. So after it's tender, then you wanna add in the rest of your ingredients. So I'm gonna add in my potatoes first, if I can get them off this baking sheet. And you wanna add your limas, if you want lima beans in there. Those are pre-cooked. 
And then I have some scallions just for a pop of green. Some salt. And then last touch. This is the secret. Just add a little pat of butter right in there. And it's gonna add a touch of creaminess that's just perfection. Give it a good toss until it's nice and warm and then you're ready to serve. Get a big bowl and serve her up. Hot. Guys, the sweetness of the corn, a little spicy, meaty sausage, mm -hmm. the potatoes. This is how you do dinner. Mm -hmm. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it.